how do we make decisions? We make decisions because other people do things. All right, let's do this. Welcome to Jack in the Box. Let me tell you a little secret. If you're real, come down right now. Boom. <laughs> what? Oftentimes, most of the decisions are made not on our own. It's because you saw somebody driving a car, or subconsciously you did, or your, your friend buys a certain type of toothpaste and you were visiting them for a dinner party and you saw it there. Those are the ways that people are most influenced because we're kind of pack animals. We're not sharks, we're, we're more like dogs. We're pack animals and we follow people. Ryan, the <laughs> Ryan, <Ben. laughs> You gotta give me like a good compliment. <laughs> I think influencer marketing is probably one of the greatest things in marketing today. And when I look at influencer marketing, I say, well, geez, you know, this is word of mouth at scale. You see a lot of confusion between what I would call celebrity marketing mm -hmm. and true influencer marketing. And they both have a place. But for us, those mid-tier influencers who may not be uh, Lady Gaga, but if you're an expert in a particular, you know, way, or you are known for the quality of what you do on a particular platform, people will follow and kind of be interested in what you have to say. It's both perceived as a disruptor, it's something new, it's got questions, uh, but at the same time, audiences are flocking to these influencers. It's not seen by the people who are watching these, these videos or wherever they're consuming this content, it's not seen as some other, it's seen as just media, it's just seen as something that they uh, impart with their day-to-day -day life. Authenticity is best when you actually have somebody that really loves your brand. The challenge that they have now is, is how do they do it well? And now I think that the companies who are specializing in the space need to figure out, which we are doing and others are doing, how can they do it better? Brands are going down this path of focusing on mobile, and it's really not about mobile. It's about how all of these things come together and how the acceleration and the pace of change has happened so dramatically in the past couple of years that if you get stuck in your box, you will not be relevant going forward. Mm -hmm. So it's really trying to break outside of that and thinking through not just one aspect of it, but all of these different things that hang together that create the experience. You win on being able to tell a great story. So as a media agency, yes, we've gotten ourselves a lot more involved in helping brands understand the right message to tell the right customer. What we also do is try to marry really good data to help connect that with the right time and place. And that's sort of nuts and bolts for most marketers, but having sophisticated data to connect that story is more important now than ever. They know it's something big. They know they need to get involved in it. It's 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 no different than, than the internet back in, the, I'd say, the late 90s. They were kind of dabbling around in it a little bit. So I like and encouraged by the fact that it's on their mind. They're thinking about doing it. For brands that are more millennial focused, I would say we use influencers a little bit more. Sweet Tarts is an example. They used Troy Sivan last year for their Sweet Tarts campaign. And DiGiorno has used, I think you've probably seen the ads, yeah. Um, influencers before as well and we try and make sure that it's believable right we don't want to just choose an influencer for the sake of choosing an influencer like we don't want to choose somebody who just rotates products and goes to a competitor right away we want to make sure that mm -hmm. um, it's somebody that genuinely has an attachment for the product and or the brand and then can really through word of mouth potential and through their influence really convince our consumers that hey this might be cool for us to try as well we are focused on working with you know some of the best athletes um, at the high school level to really help them meet their goals and improve mm -hmm. their performance mm -hmm. um, and there is an expectation there and we've seen this bear itself out that they are then going to communicate those great experiences mm -hmm. they've had with our brand and it is going to have an impact on you know everyone else on their team and in their community who wants right. to be them. We're thinking about ourselves like you know the next uh, Condé Nast, right? Uh, right? Um, so that, you know, W has its own content site. Mm -hmm. So what role do we play and how are we um, sharing their content in terms of the network? They have their own space and, and how they talk about content in a still very authentic way and Traveler has its way. If you find people who are highly relevant to the brand and you're able to understand who their audience is, which is I think a big piece that's often missing in influencer outreach and campaigns, is not just who the influencer is and what they say, what does our audience say? What is our audience interested right. in? What we're interested in are influencers who have a particular vision and an eye and who can help translate uh, the stories that our brands are trying to tell into their language. And when they do that, we find that to be really successful and very impactful.
we know that that's the vision of what we're trying to to articulate mm -hmm. and so having some ownership as the brand to do that is extremely important but also working with the right partners the the right publishers the the right athletes mm -hmm. um, to bring that message to life in a really collaborative way has been successful for us What I think brands really need to do now is they need to create their databases of influencers. Marketers who do this, they can see it as a whole marketing channel. So you buy search, you buy display, you buy TV, you buy influencer, but that's something you, you have a connection there and semi-ownership of, so it becomes, I think, one of the most valuable marketing assets.